If you know Chang'e 5 probe, the probe for China's first lunar simple return mission that started in 2020, then you will find the Chang'e 6 probe very familiar. But the Chang'e 6 probe is now facing a whole different terrain. To simple retrieve for the first time from the lesser known far side of the moon, it needs a relay satellite for communication. It needs to be even more efficient and time sensitive. It's also coping with more rugged moon surface. That's on top of all the suspense lunar exploration missions already have. The researchers and developers behind the Chang'e 6 probe say it has everything that is required of because it's standing on the shoulders of giants. For example, the far side of the moon is more rugged, but we can choose a relatively better place to land. This is a process from rough to more defined, in which we first rely on images coming from the ground and satellites to select a general area. Then there are sensors that would help specify the landing place and ensure that it lands right. Chang'e 6 also has multiple international science payloads with it. The interface of international payloads and the probe are all standardized. The power circuit has been designed for safety. The international payload team and us have together conducted deep and detailed testing work on the payload's connection and more to ensure that they can complete their tasks. The mission is viewed as a golden opportunity for science research. Until now, no probe had ever touched down on the far side of the moon until China's Chang'e 4 mission in 2019. Sun Ye, CGTN, Wenchang, Hainan Province.